Hi again, Panther fans, and welcome to Georgia State Football Weekly. I'm Dave Cohen, along with head coach Trent Miles. After an off week, Panthers back on the road. They're going to head to Death Valley, up 85 at Clemson, South Carolina, to take on the Clemson Tigers on Saturday. And lucky you, uh, <laughs> but it's been a good off week. I mean, this football team coming out of Troy needed an off week, and it came at a good time. As you get ready for Clemson and then Texas State in your final game. Yeah, we, got, we, we needed the, the break mentally and physically. Uh, we got a couple guys back physically and uh, Keith Rucker and uh, we're really looking forward to the opportunity to get back on the football field and play and judge ourselves against one of the best teams in the nation. You talk about getting healthy. Uh, how many guys, anybody in particular that uh, maybe was about been out the last couple of games that will be able to come back and uh, hopefully make a, an impact these last two games? Well I know uh, Keith is coming back, Keith Rucker. Uh, we're hoping to get Joe Peterson back but we had a little setback uh, today with his, uh, uh, his ankle again so he, he's, he's questionable. Uh, I think everybody else is, that had a little nick and, and, and was dinged up is almost back. Uh, James Trailer's out for this game, but we're trying to get him back for the Texas State game, and uh, I think it's pretty status quo. And we'll talk about Clemson coming up on, in our next segment, but uh, you know, you kind of break it down. I know you take it game by game. Uh, two games left to go. The season hasn't necessarily gone the way that, uh, you know, that we'd hoped it has. But how, do you take it now, again, game by game, but you kind of break it down as, as far as getting ready for this next game, as far as how you want to approach having to go into Death Valley to take on the Tigers? Well, going back to the way the season's gone, it's gone about the only way it could go with the process that we're in. Right. You know, we're still trying to build this program, and people think that that's excuses, but that's just the way it is. And there's a lot of things behind the scenes that needs to get built. I mean, if you want to have a program that's going to be able to compete at this level, you have to have uh, certain things in the program to be able to do it with. And that's all a process right now. So when those things happen and things start getting taken care of uh, in that regard, we'll start winning football games because we'll be able to recruit for it. And our, our young men are battling. And so it's, it's part of the process that they're going through. And, and that's just when you jump in really fast, you know, this is what you get. And these young men are battling. They're getting better. Uh, they're performing in the classroom and off the field. And, and uh, there's some things that we got to do, you know, that, that are on the other side of football that, that to get everything up to speed with being able to compete in this conference. So uh, with that, our, our kids are getting ready to break down, uh, get into Clemson, and we worry about them. And then uh, once that game's over, we'll bury that quickly and get into uh, Texas State with our last chance to win a conference game. All right, we'll take a time out. We'll get back and talk about the Clemson Tigers as Georgia State gets ready for Saturday's game. We'll get to that after this time out. You're watching Georgia State Football Weekly. Okay, when you're on the job, you're making tough decisions around the clock. Well, here's an easy one. Ford F-Series. It's a fact. On average, every 42 seconds, someone forks over their hard-earned cash to get one. Just like that. And that. And that. No wonder they're the best-selling brand of trucks in America for 37 years in a row. Hey, there goes another one. See in 42. Ford F-150. Ford Super Duty. Number one for 37 years straight. Welcome back to Georgia State Football Weekly. Dave Cohen along with head coach Trent Miles. And again, it was an off week last week. The Panthers on the road. They're going to be at Death Valley to take on the Clemson Tigers. And you know, it's always exciting to go into what you want to call a big stadium. Uh, you know, for Georgia State, we're looking to finish out the, these final two games on a positive note. How, how has the approach been uh, getting ready for this, you know, a Clemson football team? We're at size and speed and skill uh, you know, at that level. Well, we just focus on what we can control. Yep. You know, we can't control their size and speed, the weather, or anything like that. We only can worry about what we can do. So we have to control our uh, execution and, and how we approach the game mentally as far as going out and competing. You know, we just worry about uh, us and not worry to look up at the scoreboard, worry about the scoreboard, or worry about their size or their ranking or anything. Just go out and play the best that we can, love the experience, go compete, and uh, uh, thank goodness, uh, uh, our administration now is not going to get us into a game in November like this uh, ever again. You know, you look at uh, Clemson, and uh, obviously one of the areas you can look at right away and see the difference, and I'm talking about size, because this obviously relates to our running game and, you know, the ability to protect Nick, uh, size on those offensive and defensive lines. I mean, well, big difference. No one's been able to protect their quarterback against this defense. Yeah. I mean, I don't care if you're Florida State or, or whoever else in the ACC. Uh, this is one of the best defenses in the nation. They've got numerous NFL draft choices on their defense. They're number two in the nation in total and, and number one in red zone defense. 
So you better get the ball out of your hands quickly. You know, you've probably got about two and a half seconds to get the ball snapped and him to throw it. So you've got to, uh, you've got to be able to try to find a running game or it'll be a very long day. Because if you're just lining up and trying to throw it every down, they're going to tee off on you. Uh, you've got to be able to have the ability to keep your back in to help protect, max protect. Uh, when you do that, and then you know their corners are, are very good at playing press coverage, uh, so it limits what you can do. So you've got to find a way to get the ball out of your hand quickly, spread them out, and uh, uh, get the ball into your playmaker's hands as fast as possible. And if that's been one of the strengths offensively that we've had this year, is a nice stable of receivers, and uh, for the most part, not every single game, but Nick's been pretty successful on spreading that ball around, getting all these receivers involved. Yeah, we're going to have to get them all involved yeah. because they, you know, they're good enough to take away your outside guys. They can lock down on their outside with their two corners and take them away. And so you're going to have to find ways to scheme up your slot guys, uh, you know, to stack guys, put guys in bunch and, and uh, a cluster look right. and be able to uh, keep them from getting pressed up and, and try to run away from them. So, you know, this team can play man-to-man -man all over the football field and get after you with just their front four. Uh, but they do like to blitz, and uh, they've got some pretty good-looking guys that can, that can blitz. So uh, it'll be a challenge for us, and we're going to go accept it. We're going to take it. You know, uh, Whoever's on that, that schedule, we'll go play. We're not going to back down from anybody. We're fighters. We won't make any excuses, and we'll go in and battle and uh, see what happens. All right, Coach. Well, good luck uh, at Clemson. Uh, we'll be there with you on Saturday on radio, but we'll see you back here next week. Thank you. All right, I want to thank uh, Coach Trent Miles. Stay with us. We'll get back with our final segment here on Georgia State Football Weekly right after this. Got him in group as a go. Oh. Yes! <laughs> Not just a startup, an upstart. <sighs> Gotta get going. Gotta be good. Good? Good. Growth is the goal. How do we do that? I talked to UPS. They'll help us out. New technology, smart advice. We focus on the business and they take care of the logistics. UPS. Good going. We get good? That's great. 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 I love logistics. <laughs> Welcome back. Our final segment here on Georgia State Football Weekly. I want to thank Coach Miles for coming in. Panthers have a tall challenge coming up this Saturday. Again, going to travel up I-85 to take on the Clemson Tigers. That is a 7-3 and three Clemson Tiger football team. And again, Panthers at 1-9. and nine. And again, around the corner, final game of the season coming up on the 29th when they take on Texas State. 3.30 kickoff from Death Valley at Clemson. That's a 3 o'clock airtime on the radio with our Georgia Lottery Panther pregame show. So if you can't be there, hope you'll be tuned in to Georgia State football coming up on Saturday from Clemson. For the entire crew, Coach Miles, I'm Dave Cohen. Thanks for watching. We'll see you here next week on Georgia State Football Weekly.